Hello guys, I hope this video finds you well. All right, guys, you see, when the news broke out last week, our NBC gave that federal government, they gave a final warning, you know, to Arise TV, not to broadcast certain, you know, uh, that they should have a mechanism they'll be using to delay the speech of their of their guests so that they can be, you know, editing it. This was because of the interview they had with Kenneth Okoko and Dele Faro Timi. I brought the news to you guys. Now, I said something. One of the things uh, that made Pablo Escobar, a.k.a. Tinubu, the drug baron, one of the things that, that is making him to silence the media, number one, in order for this Chicago uh, news not to blow further, number two, this month, FBI has probably to be releasing every month 2,500 pages of criminal record of Pablo Escobar, the drug baron that have as Jack Asorok. So now what happened? I say what I perceive is majorly because of that criminal record. It's majorly because of that. So they don't want it to go far to publicize. Guys, please, guys, please permit me to just digress a little some of you have heard it here several i have said it that tinubu may have been looking for me i told you guys that to me is art for me i told you guys now just yesterday somebody said to me to give me some deep information about this guy's watch list i'm aware that one of those in tinubu watch list it likes that as soon as i land in nigeria he will appreciate me in their, in their pot <laughs> i have to tell the person that is beyond that too that everywhere i am where i am he's sending guys to go after that Go after how many Nigerians are you going to fight? Now you fight a uh, TV station, you also fight independent journalists and content creator. This Tinubu na devil he be you. He na devil. And the brain will get and I go to that again. Not you might be go brain. So some of the men they who they start by the the, the the watch my video, they give a feedback. I mean that I not said. And the, so so let me continue, guys. So I said it that the reason why Pablo Escobar did this thing is because what I discussed that is because of this, the this thing, uh, this FBI uh, uh, report they are about to release. Okay, now I've just read what I want to read to you guys. What articles uh, this thing said? Articles, uh, articles, uh, article I've just accused. Uh, What's it called? Uh, Pablo Escobar. Now they want to gag the media. He want to silence the media ahead of the criminal his criminal record. Pablo Escobar criminal record. FBI want to release to Nigeria. Guys, please follow me as I read the news. And after this, I'm also going to read Kenneth Okoko reply to NBC. Guys, you just can't miss this news. Just follow me as I read. I beg you, please, guys. What, what I want you to do for me, go to the comment section now. Go to the comment section. There is a link at the comment section before you watch this video. Follow that WhatsApp uh, channel link. Now follow the WhatsApp channel link so that you'll be able to be getting all my videos. As soon as I post the video, you'll be the first to get it. All right. God bless you. According to Guidance newspaper, article team alleges plot by federal government to gag media ahead of FBI files on Tinubu. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, Special Assistant of Public Communication, Frank Shaibu, says the Bolat Tinubu administration plans to gag the media ahead of the release of the record containing its investigation by United States Federal Bureau of Investigation. Shaibu said in a statement on Sunday that the Tinubu administration had become frustrated with the Chicago State University scandal and was planning a massive offensive in the coming days. Articles aid added that the threat by the National Broadcasting Commission to Sasha Rice News Television was only a tip of the iceberg. He accused the NBC of partisanship and keeping mob as media platforms like television, Continental, TVC, a media outfit associated with the Nigeria president, constantly attack Atiku. Chaibu added, back in February, the NBC tried to show a bit of fairness and fight TVC for all professional brokers, including the area of the Joint Media uh, Directorate of the APC Presidential Campaign Council Press Briefing, where Festus Kayebo said, Obasanjo and Atiku ran a criminal enterprise and 
an empire of fraud in Abuja. However, since Tinubu became president on May 29, the NBC has become more partisan than ever. The NBC boss, Balarabe Ilesha, is obviously seeking to retain his appointment and is now dancing to the tune of the APC and their master at the presidential villa. The NBC has now been co has, has now been co opted into a grand plot to gag the media over Tinubu certificate scandal. Having lost the battle in the court of public opinion, they are now trying to use the powers of the state to brobeat the media into silence. This is indeed shameful for a man who claimed to be a hero of June 12 struggle. But this is not the time for the Nigerian media to show any weakness. The truth of document that the NPR is set to release this month we expose details of the investigation that tied Bola Tinubu to heroic trafficking. The administration of this inform uh, the dissemination of this information must not be let to social media alone. The media must rise up to his role as the watchdog of society as a strike in section 22 of the 1999 constitution shaibu also said the hypocrisy of the of the tinubu government and the apc led senate apc led senate was legendary he noted that a ministerial nominee from delta state stella okokete a director at nancy bank was denied ministerial confirmation over a less certificate forgery, even though the lady in question had tried so much to defend herself. Articles 8, however, wondered why the standard for the president of Nigeria was lower than that of ministerial nominee and the young star uh, Ibe Soma AGK who forged a jump result from a third party vendor. Shaibu said, Okokte claimed to have graduated from Bessie in Daosa University in 2007 with a second class lower grade in international study and diplomacy and completed the compulsory National Youth Service Corps in Kebi State in 2009. However, amid allegations of certificate forgery, the Senate refused to confirm her while the authorities continue to investigate her. However, in the case of Tinubu, who owes the highest office in the land, they want Nigerians to overlook it. They are asking Nigerians to focus on governance instead. Isn't it ironic that the bar has been lowered for the office of the president? Is it not mind-boggling that people who would not employ even third class graduates in their private organizations, in their pri private companies, are the same ones that defending certificate certificate forgery. The hypocrisy to indeed the hypocrisy is indeed disturbing. He added, that is a, a good response from articles uh, from articles uh, articles uh, spokesperson Chaibo. Let's read that of uh, Kenneth Okonkwo. Kenneth Okonkwo is a Nigerian actor, lawyer, a politician has replied to the National Broadcasting Commission in response to Friday's warning to arise television over what it called the use of derogatory and incidental remarks on its program. In an open letter addressed to NBC Director General Dr. Balerbe Ilesha Ilela Okonkwo said that the DG statement is an outright infringement on its fundamental human rights as a strike in section 38 and 39, which provide that even it provide that every person shall be entitled to freedom of thought. Every person shall be entitled to freedom of expression, including freedom to hold opinions and to receive and impart ideas and information without interference. The open letter reads, Open letter to Mr. Barry Besheu Ilela, DG National Broadcasting Corporation. I read the letter written by Mr. Balare Besheu Ilela, DG of NBC, and which will state as follows. I sympathize with him in this unfortunate journey he takes to please his employers, 
but state that he would have been more wise and circumspect in going about it. Two, maybe he is not aware that the court has decided that NBC has no power to find NBC has no power to find or sanction any media house intimidating or manipulating the media house is a form of sanction and is unlawful. Thierry, he, he advisedly mentioned my name in his letter as making an unguided utterance simply because I confirmed that the Chicago State University certificate which Bart submitted to ADEC was forged for the simple reason that the university has expressly stated that the certificate did not come from them, which is the condition necessary to prove forgery. Number four, this statement is an outright infringement of my fundamental human rights, as extracted in section 38 and 39, which provide that every person shall be okay. I've read here now of expression including freedom of speech. Okay, why is he repeating? Let's go to number five. The rights are the rights are superior to the NBC state, which the DG incorrectly stated and is maintaining uh, and is mentioning my name in his letter is an attempt to rudely interfere with my divinely and constitutional guaranteed rights, and he should desist henceforth from further mentioning my name in any letter or communication whatsoever. I remind him that by law, any infringement on the fundamental human rights of Nigeria attract punishment of da punishment of damages. The constitution also protects <coughs> the rights of the media in section 22 to be free to uphold the responsibility and accountability of the government to the people. Again, the DG does not have the right to to it does not have the right to deny Aras TV their right to hold the government accountable to the people. Seven, it is unfortunate that when all media houses condemn Ibe Soma for forging a jam certificate and rightly to what without being convicted by a court simply because jam disowned her certificate and rightly to the DG did write to any TV station to mention the name of any guest or TV who condemns such forgery. Not that the certificate of the president disowned by the university that purportedly issued it, the DG has suddenly found his mouth to mention the name of the people who condemned such forgery of the certificate after the university disowned it and even wrote, even wrote the media house to threaten it. Number eight, the only unguided utterance here is the heel advice letter written by the DG to Arise TV, and this must stop. I did not make I did not make my name by forging my certificate. I made my name by investing the talent of Arty. God has deposited in me to create a new movie industry called Nollywood. We started with the movie living in, in bondage. I wish, please God, to make me the first actor of the industry, which is employing millions of Nigeria youth. I have since improved to become a lawyer and advocate for a new Nigeria, which preceded the new political dispensation number nine if your letter is a, if your letter is an attempt at intimidating me not to say the truth you have failed because i have already decided to fight for a new nigeria based on the truth realizing that truth is the only thing that brings genuine a permanent solution to a nation's problem it is it is to a nation's problem. It is letters like yours. It is okay, it is letters like your own that have 
prompted foreign entities to wrongly ascribe forgery as a Nigeria thing. Please desist from such letters. Tell, sir, I humbly take exemption to your using my name, using my name disrespectfully, and demand an open and demand an apology from you. I will restrict myself and be as civil as possible in this writing because this is the first time you are a, you are embarking on this misadventure. I will certainly not be this civil next time. <laughs> if this attitude continues, I set my best regard and thank you for your anticipated cooperation. <laughs> school good though. Who says school not good may try ignorance? <laughs> See lawyer, I don't humble. Guys, please share this video. Make I not talk too much, I beg. <laughs>